Friday is New Year's Eve in New Orleans, and uh, Big Saints game on Sunday, and of course the Sugar Bowl is on Tuesday. There are a lot of people in town this weekend visiting uh, from Ohio State, uh, from Arkansas, Tampa Bay Buccaneer fans. going to be a lot of partying, a lot of drinking. As a criminal defense attorney, I can tell you what that means is that there are going to be a lot of people getting arrested for public intoxication. There's some misconceptions about New Orleans and the let the good times roll atmosphere down here. Um, it is true that there's a lot of partying that goes on, uh, but it's also true that when taken to the limit, uh, there are a lot of people that, that do get arrested for public intoxication. A couple things I think that are worth pointing out. I have talked in previous blog posts about a new emphasis in New Orleans on police officers issuing summons uh, instead of arresting people for municipal violations. Public intoxication is a municipal violation. That said, I don't know what the exact statistics are, but I would say 85 to 90 percent of the time on a charge of public intoxication uh, police are going to arrest as opposed to issuing a summons. There was a lawsuit a number of years ago where the police issued a summons to someone who uh, was intoxicated in the French Quarter. Actually did him a favor, walked him back to their hotel room. Apparently that person uh, then left the hotel room instead of sleeping it off like they should have, wound up getting hit by a car and uh, successfully sued the New Orleans Police Department for not arresting them. So everybody that gets arrested this weekend um, for public intoxication probably has that person to thank. So uh, drink, have fun. If you find yourself drinking to excess and being arrested for public intoxication, uh, feel free to check out the rest of my website. Give me a call, send me a text message. Uh, let me help you solve that problem.